What's going on guys, Aussie here, welcome back to a brand new video, so today we have the best attackers in the game, that's not including icons, I didn't really want to include icons just because I feel like Pele, Azebio, R9 and all them players, most players don't have that, so I'm going to go for the ones that people actually do have. So, as you can see on the screen, we do have, I think it's 32, if I counted wrong, I counted wrong, players, and I'm going to put them into a tier list, going from, obviously, S, A, B, C, D, S being the strongest, B, D being the weakest. But let's start. So, we're going to go with Aguero. Aguero, I've used this card, and a lot of pros have used this card. And let me just say straight off the back, this card is god tier, so I'm actually going to put it... Ah, is it on the level of Messi? Is it level of Ronaldo? I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna put it up there. I'll maybe change my mind later, but I'm gonna put it up there. Now, Aspas. This guy, there's a lot of things going around with this guy just because how good his stats are like 87 dribbling, 86 shooting. He can pass, he's got 87 passing, 86 pa uh, pace. See, with this card, I would prefer the pace a bit, bit, bit more um, like into the 90 zone, into the 89 zone, maybe. Just because I feel like for a striker, you want to get away from your centre back as far as possible, with aka Varane, aka Militao. But this card, I will put here. I might change that later. Now, Abamiang. About this card is good. I'm not gonna lie. I, when I play against this card, he is quality. He is fast. He can shoot. The only thing he can't do is dribble. But he has got that four star skills, and I know a lot of people use him. But he is gonna go to the A. Now, Bell, this card is a road to the final card. It is going to get better. So, it's up there. The only problem with this card, I feel like, is he's weak for. He's got a three-star weak for, which is huge in this year. So, I'm actually going to put him there. Now, Bernard, I know a lot of people use this, Halloween, this uh, screen card, but Bernard. He is... Some, some people compare him to Messi. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, but... 89 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 shooting. He's up there. I'm not going to lie. He's up there. He's not down here at all. So I'm going to put him there with Bale. Now, this Dembele card. To say this Dembele card can get better is insane already. He's got 5 star, 5 star, 94 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 shooting. I'm going to tell you, if this card gets better, he's definitely going up there. But for now, he's going to go up here. Now, the pie. The pie. I use his gold card. He wasn't the greatest. He was kind of clunky in some sorts. But he's got 85 dribbling now, 88 pace, 83 shooting, 84 uh, passing, 80 physical. So he's got pretty much all the main stats that we need. But I would say the only big thing about this card is I don't feel, I feel like his shooting still isn't good enough. I would like him to be in the 86 zone. It is a road to the final, but I, felt, I doubt Leon's going to go far. So I'm going to actually put this card here. Griezmann. Now, this card is a major down, like, not a downgrade, but it's a major disappointment. Just because 88 shooting, 90 dribbling is insane. But if you have that 82 sprint speed, the 82, 82 pace, like, it just doesn't cut. It this it doesn't go into anyone's team. So I'm actually going to put, this might be a bit harsh, but I'm actually going to put him here. Now, Nabri, I've done a player review on him. He is amazing. I have, like, to be fair, 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 86 shooting is insane. I am going to put him up there. I felt like that card was probably one of my best uh, player reviews that I've done. Now, Hazard. going to stay straight out the back. This card right here is insane. 92 pace, 95 dribbling, 85 shooting, 88 pa uh, passing. Only thing he hasn't got is physical and obviously the 5-star skills and stuff. But he has got 4-star, four 4-star four and I do feel like he is up there. Now, Ibra, this card surprised me a little bit. 85 uh, pace, 88 dribbling, 90 shot, 80 physical, 80 passing. He has got 5-star skills as well with that 4-star weak foot. But the only problem is, is that height is such a big thing in this game that I feel like he will be clunky no matter what. I feel like his balance is, I think it's 40-something. So, he is going to go down here. Now, this Insigne Scream card is insane. I've used him. And he's up there with some of the best. So, he has to go up there. Now, Harry Kane. The big thing about Harry Kane is that his shooting is so good. His physical is so good. His passing is so good. But, he can't turn. And he has no pace. So, I'm not going to lie. He is going to go down there. 
Lewandowski, another big thing. I know a lot of people have their play of the month. 88 dribbling, 91 shooting, 84 physical, 77 passing, 79 pace. That pace is just going to allow him to be a target man. But I do feel like he is better than Harry Kane because Harry Kane has got 73 pace, but this guy's got 79. So he is going to go there. Mane. Now, a lot of people use this Mane card. Uh, a lot of top 100 players use him. A lot of pros use him. This Mane card is top tier. He's very, very part, uh, part, uh, fast. Uh, fast. His shooting is quality. His dribbling is quality. So he is going to go. Am I being too generous? Better than Hazard. I'll say he's up there. I'll say he's up there. Now, this Martial card. The only problem with this Martial card, and we're lucky it's a road to the final because 83 shooting is not enough. It's just not enough. This card needs to get better 100%, but. He, he does feel pretty good in game. He has got 91 pace, 87 dribbling. So I am going to put him right there. Now this Martinez card. A lot of people slack on this Martinez card. Because this guy I'm pretty sure has 98 agility. So he's turning like Messi. 93 pace, 85 shooting. He's got the stats to be a god. So I haven't seen him. But I am going to put him I am gonna put him up there saying it's based off stats. I haven't used that card though. So, that might get moved a bit down. Now, Mbappe. Mbappe, I... And people are going to be surprised about this, but... I feel like Mbappe ain't the greatest in this game. I feel like Messi, Neymar and Ronaldo are all better than Mbappe. Come around team of the year, it's going to probably be different. Like, this guy's going to have 99 pace. He's going to have a 90, like, 5 shoot. He's going to be insane, okay? But for now, this guy can't go up there. He has to go down here. Unfortunately. Now, Merton, this card I have used. It is a god. He turns like a god. He shoots like a god. He's got pace. The only thing I, I see slack on him is obviously he's uh, physical. What makes Messi so good is that he can overcome that physical and how fast he can turn and how good his shot is. Merton, he has got a good shot, but he can't turn like Messi. And he can't shoot like Messi. Messi's got that kind of finesse shot thing that he just starts flying in. Merton's... I don't know, I feel like Mertens is a more of a power shot player. But, Mertens is up there, so he is going to go there. Messi, I have no doubt, is up there. There is, I used this card. It was really, really fun. Uh, Five-star skills, obviously. 88 pace, 89 dribbling, 78 shooting. The only thing about that card is he's shooting. But Ajax could go far, so... I am, for now, going to put him there. If that shooting gets better, he will 100% get there. But for now, he has to go to the B section. Now, Neymar. I think Neymar is one of the best cards in this game, personally. He is 5-star, five 5-star, five 91 pace, 95 dribbling, 85 shooting. He's got the passing. Like, he's up there, 100%. Politino. All right, this guy gets called the cheap Messi. And to say that you can do this through challenges is quite insane. It is a hard challenge, I'm not going to lie, but... It's up there. It's up there. Now, 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 85 shooting, 84 uh, pa uh, passing. It's it's top tier. It's a top tier card. But is he is he on the level of Neymar, Messi, Mane, Insigne, Aguero? No. Now, Royce. Royce, this card. I wish this card had more pace. And I feel like he doesn't have more, he doesn't have more pace. Just because EA kind of disrespect him. For his injuries. Like it's up there. But I do feel like this card needs more pace. To be on a top tier level. Get a few more informs. Get your player of the months that you did last year. And you're 100% you're up there. But for now I will be putting him there. Now Ronaldo. I didn't really believe in Ronaldo being amazing this year. I felt like he was a. Not the greatest kind of player. But. After the patch, I do use him in the 4-2-3-1 formation. If you guys missed the custom tactics formation, link in the description. And I'll be using my front. And I must say, this card surprised me. He can turn, he can shoot, he's got the pace, and he definitely, definitely has the strength. So, Ronaldo is going to go up there. Now, Mo Salah. Mo Salah can be a quality card with his 93 pace, 89 dribbling, 86 shooting. He's, he can shoot, he can stop pace, he can dribble. Only thing about this card is his three-star weak foot. Now, with the three-star weak foot being in play, I can't, I really can't put him up here. But, 
I I'm going towards the if there was another section and I could put him probably A minus, I would. But is he on the level of Dembele? Is he on the level of Hazard? Is he on the level of Nabry? Abamio, Mbappe, Mertens, Politina? No. I would say he's on the level of Royce, Bale, and Aspas, 100%. Now, Son, this card is going to be insane if Tottenham get four. Obviously, Mourinho just signed for them, so it's looking kind of nice. But this card is like 1.5 mil as far as I know. 89 pace, 88 dribbling, 87 shooting. He can do it all. I think he is six foot one, which is not the greatest, but Ronaldo six foot one. And if he has the stats of Ronaldo, it is going to be up there with some of the best, 100%. But for now... I would say this card is here. Sterling. Now, the Sterling is a big situation, literally, because of his freestyle weak foot. 79 shooting. I do feel like it's not enough as well. So, I am going to put Sterling. Uh, the, the problem is, his shooting is not the greatest. So, I'm actually going to... I might disrespect Sterling right here. Some people might disagree. But I'm going to put him down here. Suarez. 73 pace. Yet again, is not the greatest. The thing with this card, I feel like he can only shoot. I feel like if you're going to get this guy, you might as well get Harry Kane. There's no point in getting Suarez. So, I might, this might be a bit harsh, but I'm going to put him down here. Now, Toko Akambe, I think I said that right. You know, correct me in the comments if I did it. Now, this card. I did do a play review on him. He did feel really, really good. I actually, I think I compared him to... Surprisingly, I did compare it to CR7. Now, I feel like this card, 86 pace is probably not enough, but he didn't feel slow. He had an amazing shot. He had amazing dribbling. He felt strong. He didn't have that much shit, that shit of a pass. So, for that reason, I am going to put him up there with some of the, some of the greatest. Now, Jamie Buddy, I know a lot of people use this card just because it was cheap. 92 pace. I think that's 80 dribbling, 85 uh, shooting. He is up there. With an amazing shot, but three star skills for me, it's not enough. And for that reason, I am going to put him again. If there's a B minus, I would, but am I being nice? Am I being too nice? Or am I gonna. Right, let's compare it to the players we have here. Aspas, I do feel like he's better than Aspas. Bale, maybe not. Bernard, that bit, that's a big situation. The pie, he is better. Ebra. Ah, uh, with Ebro, it's just his height. That's what's bugging me about that. Lewandowski, I feel like he is better than Lewandowski. I am going to put him right there. Walcott, a lot of people disrespect this card, but this card was actually used a lot at the start. 96 pace, 88 dribbling, 81 uh, shooting. He's up there, but I wouldn't say he's all the way. I would say, again, he's mid. Ben Yedda. Now, this card is secretly a god. I'm not going to lie, if you if you haven't used Ben Yedder yet, 100% use him. A6 pace, that's the only thing I see with Ben Yedder. I, I think I love Ben Yedder's card with his shooting and dribbling and everything, but his pace is such a, like, a disappointment. <sighs> is he on the A section? That's the thing. Like, he's not better than Dembele. He's not better than Nabry. He's not better than Hazard. He's 100% not better than Mbappe. Not better than my... I can't put him in the A section. Can we put him in the B section? Eber, Lewandowski, Martial, Royce, Salah, Neres, Vardy. For the last spot in the B section. This B section is getting flooded. I might be disrespecting Suarez there. I know some people use uh, Kane. Griezmann might be a bit low as well. But I feel like Griezmann, I feel like Griezmann, his pace is just not good enough. I know his finesse shot was amazing last year, but... I have used him this year and his finish wasn't as effective. But I just I can't deal with that pace. 82 pace is too, too, way, way too low. But if you guys did enjoy this tier list, leave a like, leave a comment, and peace.